Haven't you heard? A queen is on the rise. Wear a mini hat so she can open up your eyes. Join the convo, the podcast is lit. Cop a pin to the spice up your fit, yeah. She's a producer, you can buy her to a beat. She do the most, but she ain't come to do the least. Whether it's the combo or the music you want, find it all here at tttalks.com. Come and stimulate your mind with tttalks. Promise you'll never fall behind with tttalks. The knowledge you're seeking, you can find with tttalks.com. So come on and get with tttalks, yeah. Well, you get to say a little bit extra now. Go ahead and say something in the mic. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Give them your name. Mic check. Coach K is in the building. Coach Team K is 5, in the building. Team hey. Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Come on, baby. What it do all day, baby. Let me tell you, this brother was up two on the stage. on Sunday. We want to talk about Lilith. What it do? He was up here telling the people about Lilith. Helping these women folk reclaim their feminine power. And sometimes, you know, people have weird ideas about that coming from men sometimes. Mm. But the way he delivered it was a way that was like your favorite uncle, your favorite <laughs> older cousin, <laughs> who all the men respected, but all the women really adored too. Mm. So I appreciated this brother's presence on the stage. I was feeling inspired. I was like, okay. And then he shouted out to Sagittarius, so I had to get a little turn. I saw you throw your hand up. I like had to throw it up. I had to throw it up. Like you was ready to get you was ready to get your passport. As soon as I said passport, you was like, oh, he know me. You already know my life. He know me. You already know my life. Anybody who know me already know my life. What I'm already team on, Sagittarius on the moon. On with y'all. How y'all doing today? You all right? You feeling good? I feel fabulous. I'm you feeling good. You're moving Sag right now. I heard. Yes. Yeah, so I heard that. Last night was a full moon in Scorpio, mm -hmm. but it was at 28 degrees. Okay. So the moon moves pretty fast coming through the signs. Mm -hmm. So when we started, actually it was like at four degrees Sagittarius. See, I'm glad you know. I I I only have limited exposure to a lot of astrology, so I'm so glad that you're having this conversation with me because I'm about to be in the book like, okay, 28 degrees. Google. I just tell everybody <laughs> Google. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be on the Google. So when is your birthday exactly? November 30th. Ah, okay, so you are um, nine degrees, so you're in the first deacon. That's what they call the first deacon of Sagittarius. First deacon. I'm learning something new about me. Right, yeah, so every sign is chopped up into threes. Really? So it's the first ten degree, first ten days, second ten days, Got third it. ten days. Got so you're it. in the first ten days uh -huh. of Sagittarius. How about that? So you like starting the party off. You like one of them Kenyans in the uh, marathon. You jump out in the front with the Sagittarius. That's how I get down. Yeah. yeah. From day one. Right. Came out running, came out swinging. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what you do and who you are, because I just met this brother today. Give us your name and, 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 and what type of work that you do. Um, Coach Kair, Team Taurus, and I am a self-discovery specialist. Self-discovery, self that sounds real good and real deep. I use astrology, I use intu intuition, I use all the tools in my toolbox. I'm trained mm. in Tantra, trained in martial arts, Tai Chi, mm. meditation. Mm. Astrology is like the wife though, it's mm -hmm. like the wife. Mm -hmm. And then, um, mm -hmm. I use diff different divination cards, yeah. tools and things like that. And also just starting to experiment with ethereal gems. So hmm. a lot of us didn't know that magic mushrooms, we thought, oh, that's, that's the only thing that white people do. But that's what the original shamans were using right. as medicine. Right. And that's not a, the mushroom is not a plant, it's a spore it that arrives on a meteorite. Hmm. So it contains all the history of the planet. So some of these entheogens that we are digesting are giving us the history of the planet. Mm. And we're dealing with just, you know, 20, 30 years of information and right. stuff like that. Right, This stuff really, is ancient. Really lim oh, man. This stuff is ancient. Right. And it also brings out, I want to help the mushrooms and everybody drop their filters, man. Mm -hmm. I try mm -hmm. to help people get their filters, yeah. man. And I've been reading a lot of really good research on the benefits for people who have post-traumatic stress disorder. People have had, coming out of the military, it's been, it's been used. In a, in, a, in a really positive way to kind of help just, people go get through deep hurt, deep trauma. It was so. just legalized May the 7th in mm, Denver. Really? And the guy who was like pushing it, he is ex-Army West Point mm. that 
got out of the army because of his depression. Wow. And so they were the first, just like they were from uh, recreational and medicinal marijuana. Mm -hmm. Oregon's got a big movement on now. California's got a big movement on. And it's all about set and setting, like finding the right medicine and the right person to help you with your medicine. Like, uh, there's a lot of doctors out here, but you want the one that you're the most comfortable with. Absolutely. A lot of astrologers out here. Find you one. Mm -hmm. If you want to find Coach Kayeto, I'm at CoachKAstrology.info. CoachKAstrology.info. And if you were on this show, I gave out a, I gave out $100, $250 today. He gave out $250 today. In, in discounts. I love it. So, I normally charge $300 for a consultation. Right. If they go to my site, CoachKAstrology.info, and put in Keep 100, they get $100 off. Nice. And then I teach astrology because when we used to have astrology in elementary schools, mm -hmm. we built pyramids. When we took astrology out of elementary school, they moved us into projects. Mm -hmm. So I want to have a mission of getting astrology back in every household. So I created a course called Keep It Simple Astrology. Mm -hmm. It's on the same website. It's normally 300, but if you put in Astro Magic, mm -hmm. that's the combination of putting your astrology together with your magic. Mm -hmm. It's only a buck fifty. Watch out. I mean, lifetime access. Uh, yeah. You can take it on your phone. You can be on a plane. You can be anywhere and start bringing this ancient science back into you because you can be doing the right thing and be the wrong time, not mm -hmm. be in the right place. Yeah. But astrology helps to get you right where you need yeah. to be ASAP. Yeah. yeah, it gets you aligned. Aligned? Yeah. What kind of line? It it, it, astrology helps you become more aligned. So oh, helps aligned. You. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Your gold grill is so sexy. Thank you. I don't know if y'all can't see it right thank now, but you. I saw when you, when you came walking in the door today, I was like, that's like hell of a lot of lilies right there walking thank in the door. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sugar. Yes. Shout out to Rich Grills in D.C. He made this for me. Mm. He's a good friend of mine. Mm. And uh, he and I actually did a show together a couple months back, so you had to check it out. I went by his shop, and uh, yeah, he made a grill for me. I hope I get to be on another one of your shows, and I want you to come on one of my shows. I'd love to. I want to. you to show me how this whole magnificent setup, like, yeah. I ain't jelly. You show me my future. Yeah. What I teach people is the three Ps, the three Ps of reflection. So Lay it on me. Lay it on me. Past reflection. Past. Present reflection. Mm -hmm. And potential reflection. Mm. So anybody thinking about doing a podcast, they are your past reflection, because you, you mm -hmm. used to be like them. Yes. But when we look at you... I saw the bags. I was like, yo, she portable. Yeah. What? The microphone setting up, microphone fiend. Portable, portable. I just did, became a team. We doing. I just did a show in Detroit last week. I just left Detroit. Really? Yesterday morning, I was in Detroit. How about that? In somebody's basement. Did a show in Detroit. <laughs> I, did, I've done, I did a show recently in Atlanta. I did a show uh, about a month ago in California, out of Orange County. Um, yeah, I've been really mobile. I'm really trying to, to move this all over. I'm hoping to do a few what shows in New York. What did you love the most about uh, today's, today's uh, uh, Mystical Magic Expo? Or, or your top three things that you learned that you can apply immediately? Top things that I can, you know, I, it's hard to say that I can learn because this is stuff that I know, but repetition is what helps things stick. So what are you going to apply tomorrow? But let me say this. I was more inspired. Mm. I was more inspired. It wasn't necessarily that I learned anything that I didn't know. I was inspired to be standing in my authentic self. Facts. Because that whole first row, it was nothing but people who made the decision that they were going to stand in their power. Holla, holla. And they were going to change their life and turn their life, turn their life around. Because I guarantee everybody in that front row got a fucked up story about some shit that happened a long time ago. <laughs> I was in the front row, so yeah, I definitely got a story or two. I'm sure. I'm <laughs> sure. Anybody who can dig themselves out the mud and has the humility to come back and assist people in pulling themselves out of the mud, they have a story to tell. So I was really inspired by the people who are coming up and standing in their own truth and calling us to be courageous enough to be able to stand in ours. Because you, a lot of the people in the front row there are probably deep seers deep feelers, people who have a really, really, really sensitive sensory environment. So they feel everything, they see everything, and they were feeling in the room that people were holding themselves back because of how they were raised, because yes. of religion, because of um, not being able to put, move past trauma and things like that. And so what the energies and the ancestors in the room were compelling them to say, was fuck that shit 
get your shit together, be your authentic self, stop letting people that ain't built shit tell you how to build your shit. Bong bong. Oh, that's bong bong what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? That's all bong bong. So, even though I know all of that stuff, what it did was re-inspire me to be more committed to being an authentic person, to continue to pull myself up out of the mud so that I can kind of give people tools to be able to pull themselves out of the mud so that we can have really a, a better existence. You know, my, my tagline is, um, I didn't come here to do the least. You know, people always tell the people, you know, you're doing the most, you're doing the most, you're doing the most. I didn't come here to do this. That's what I tell people. It's trademarked. Don't even try it. But seriously, people are always feeling like they're too big, they're too much. So you see people shrink themselves down. You didn't come here to do the least. You really, um, in all the things that you just described, I, my tagline is just two words and you described it. Mm. What's your tagline? Live free. <laughs> One more time, live free. That's the hashtag. If you go to Instagram and type in live free, you'll live find free. Me. Live free. Live Not free. Live 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 free. I'm in. I'm on the 4G network. I can be anywhere. I'm all over the internet. Okay. I'll type in Coach Kaye, but I'm locally in Atlanta right now. Nice. I'll be in the Dominican Republic next week. Hey. My flight landed last night from Detroit. Hey. Um, I get around. That's. You know, I'm like I know that life. <laughs> so, I know that life. I, I know that be life. More like you, know, I'm gonna add some stuff to my bag. But yes. thank you, TT, so much for letting Coach Kaye come around. You're so welcome. You're so I welcome. love y'all. And it's K H A Y R. K-H-A-Y-R. I got a free astrology course, too, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then I got a paid one, you know what I'm saying, over at Coach K Astrology. But start with my YouTube, yeah. you know, my meditations and all of that. Man, I want people to, That's like, start where they at. But I, I have to get with you. I'm producing a meditation CD right now. It's dope. It's really dope, actually. Is your number on something over here I just picked up? Oh, no, man, I'm already following you on Instagram. You're I already following me. Yeah. Already. My, That's what I'm talking message. about. Listen, man, y'all better get on IG and stop playing. G -G -G Everybody out here doing their thing on IG, man. Your IG is your commercial. Get your brand out. Get your name out. Get your message out. Because a lot of the people that are watching stuff like this, you're being compelled to do some shit. You're being strongly pushed to do some stuff. You call it what you want. God, ancestors, you know, your own personal will, whatever it is. But you also have to cross the threshold of reaching out to people. Mm. You gotta reach out to people. People are like, who do your branding? Who did your commercial? Who did your video? Who did your this and that? Man, I found somebody on Instagram. People look like, ooh! You found somebody on Instagram? Oh, I sure did. Yeah. I sent them an inbox. Like, can you help me Close do this? don't get fed on the boulevard. Hello. Say something. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. it. Love you. Love you too. Peace. Safe travels.